Leon Mpumela Lesiziba spoke to the Minister of Tourism. Let's take a listen. In your capacity as the Minister of Tourism, how important is this forum? It's very critical and important. You'd have noted that some of the issues that are being raised relate to tourism. This morning there was a panel of presidents, heads of states, uh, where President Ramaphosa was asked about the xenophobia incident, about how are we welcoming to both people who are coming to the country for business and for leisure. So he responded quite very well to say South Africa is open and therefore we are doing everything that we can to be making sure that whoever comes here is able to enjoy and able to stay and enjoy South Africa as we are. If you look at the investment conference this week as well, following from last week's investment conference, we've seen a number of people coming to the country. Some of them have been interacting with them um, since in the morning, asking them if they are coming for the first time, if they've been here, if they're bringing families, and they've been assur like assuring me that, you know what, we feel comfortable coming to South Africa, it's easy to come here, you've got infrastructure in terms of us to be able to move, in us, for us to be able to communicate. So that feedback is important. Almost 2,800 people are here, and those are tourists, literally, coming here to stay. They're contributing to the GDP, they're contributing to the jobs in terms of tourism sector. They're staying in hotels, they're booking flights and all those things, and that's what is important. And our message with them today is to say, while they're coming, we're introducing them to South Africa, those who are coming for the first time, but we want them to come back, but not only alone, but come with others. So that's the message, and that's why it's important for us to participate and being able to convey the message of us being a country and a destination of choice. I know that soon we are going to begin, in fact this month we're going to be starting the e-visa pilot scheme. Uh, when is it that you anticipate that that will be fully launched going forward? Um, Minister has already con conveyed to us that they are piloting on the 15th of November and if there are not glitches after the pilot, they will take a pilot for a month if um, that's what they had already uh, initially briefed us. If there are no glitches, they will roll out fully. Most of the tourism markets are looking forward to that because it will be easy for us to be able to, to get that. We were hoping that that will be ready for our festive season this year, but I think we'll miss it. Uh, but for next year yeah, definitely we are gearing up as the tourism sector to be able to market aggressively and be able to say to people you can apply wherever you are at your convenience to come to South Africa through the e online visa application. And one last thing, ma'am, in terms of all the cobwebs that are being sorted out by government, specifically in relation to tourism, are you anticipating that 2020 will be a better year? And of course, based on a better perception of us as South Africans being more open and welcoming to foreign visitors? I am definitely anticipating a better year for 2020. We are doing everything we can from the tourism perspective, both from government, private sector and all our role players um, to be able to bring the numbers. But another issue is to say to communities, it's not only about the Minister of Tourism and the department. It's about all of us. All of us have to make sure that the tourists, when they come here, they feel welcomed. They must be able to say, I want to go back to that country. And we are a welcoming na nation by nature and I think if we bring and take efforts into that sometimes people ask me why must I bother myself about tourists and I say it's because when somebody works in a garage when tourists are here they make sure that the person's work is sustained because they fill up the petrol when somebody works at a restaurant when a tourist is here it's at the restaurant, they make sure that that person who works at the restaurant, the job is sustained. In hotels, the jobs are sustained. These are our sisters, these are brothers, these are mothers, these are cousins. Somebody that we know in our neighborhood works in the tourism industry. But we contribute on not only to direct jobs, but indirect jobs. So it is important for us to continue to look after the tourists, make sure that they are safe, they go back to their homes, and make sure that they can say we are a friendly nation because we are competing with other nations that are doing everything to make sure that they come to their country. So I think we will be able to increase our numbers if we work together as South Africans.